Hi everyone, can you guess the theme of today's video? It's going to be a wine diary. I haven't done one in a while. I'm so excited to be back here doing a wine diary with you. So I hope that you stick around and join me. Hi everyone, I'm Nancy and welcome back to my channel. I'm so excited to be doing another episode of Nancy's Wine Diaries with you. I've been dying to do this for a while. I wanted to go out and buy some kind of special appetizers or something, but it was just too gosh darn cold. We started the day at minus 22. We did warm up to like minus 5, but uh, you know, I figured I have, I've got stuff around here. I really didn't need to go out. But, yeah, so I'm back here. Most of my nutcrackers are out of here. The back in boxes to go back downstairs. But I did get this wine mat that I got on sale for half price. And the best wines are the ones we drink, drink with friends. So before I put it on the floor, I thought it would make a nice little backdrop. I got two of them, one for in front of the stove and one for in front of the sink. So it just looks nice and cozy in the kitchen. And, yeah, so I got the vinyl box that's behind there. I took all the wine out because otherwise I wouldn't have been able to lift it and put it on the bed. And I know every now and then, um, <coughs> sorry, it's not the quarterly wine box um, that comes out, the subscription box, but you can buy their wines all year long anytime you want, and they're $24 a bottle. I don't want to pay $24 a bottle, but every now and then, if you buy if you buy a case, it goes to like $12.88. But every now and then they have a sale where you can get a case mix, mix and match for $9.98. So I was going to get it, then I wasn't, and it's like, oh, it's only got a few more days. And so I said, what the heck? So yeah, so I went ahead and did it, and I wanted to get more of a variety, you know, because I stocked up on some Moscatos that I love, but I wanted to get some of the other wines that I've been, um, you know, trying to get into. So they were a little limited, but I did get a few more to try, so I'm excited to get into that. We're going to open one in a little bit. I made a little snack tray to go with it, but I wanted to show you, because I'm not going to be able to unbox this for a while. It's one for Valentine's Day. So it's wine and kisses, Valentine's wishes. And again, I took the wine out so I could pick it up and move it around. This one's just the small bottles. And it's going to be a mix of red and whites. And they all have that little smooch on it for Valentine's. I got 12 of these little bottles to do for a Valentine's countdown. So I am wicked, wicked, wicked excited to be doing that. Now I got to go find some red clothes in my closet so I can try to do some red clothes for Valentine's Day. Alrighty, so back to Vino. So I've got a mixture over here of some of the wines that I got. They did have the extra stuff so just like that you could get when you, um, do the subscription box and you get a chance to do some add-on. I have got two of these brushes from them, these Pro Detangler wet brushes. I love them. Somehow they both ended up in my drawer at work and I haven't been really working at the office since beginning of November. So I figured I wanted another one. And if I take one of them home, then I'll have two at home. Yeah. So yeah, I love these brushes and it's just a pretty purple. It's got some flowers on it really really nice and then as an extra that's all I put in there but they threw in this little gift bag little canvas wine carrying holiday survival kit so if you were going to gift one you got a nice little bag to carry it in or to give it away to someone so that will come in handy if I decide to share with anybody yeah so I got a mixture of 12 wines so we won't go into all of them but we'll just kind of I got three of my favorite Moscatos. I would have got more, but that was all I could grab. So the Wicked Bliss one, Moscato, love this one. Perfect, perfect, love it. I think the first Moscato that I got from them when I got the uh, wine club, 
the vinyl box was this Night Vine California Moscato. I was able to pick up two of those. I love that one as well. Um, last time I, I got a case, I think, or one of the subscription boxes, I got the Wicked Bliss, the Syrah. And this was really, really good. I got two of those. I'm not sure why I picked this one because I think the last time they sent me a Riesling, I really didn't like it, but it could be one that I gift or who knows, I may like this one. So this is a new crush Riesling. Got that one, got a few more here. And do I have two of these? No. So this is a new crush. It's a red wine blend. So looking forward to doing that one. And I'm not sure why I only got one of these. Probably a Sauvignon Blanc or Sauvignon Blanc or however you say it. But yeah, I had one of these in one of those little the Halloween box of one, I think. And I really uh, like that one. So I thought I would try another brand. And then that last one over there is the one that's here. This is the one that I'm going to open. I got two of these. And this one is the Night Vang, the California Pinot Noir. So I got two of these to try. And I got my little snack tray. Whoops. Yeah, so I got some cheese and some crackers and some pepperoni slices here. It's a thick cut, it's a turkey kind of blend. It's supposed to be better for you, who knows. And uh, yeah, so in the middle here, I've got some whipped cream cheese. I've got some hot pepper jelly. And then on the other side right here, I've got honey cup mustard. So you use a little bit of the uh, whipped cream cheese and then whichever one you want. And it just gives a nice little zing. Yeah, love that. So that's my snack tray for tonight. And I'm going to open this because sometimes this can be a little noisy. So I'm going to open it and then I'll be right back. Alrighty, so I have got my wine open. Love that handy dandy wine opener. It is so handy. And I'm just going to pour a little bit in here. I love that little ching it makes. And I know they say you're supposed to look at the color here. So from what I can see, it's a, it's a dark purple, purpley red. It does coat the glass really nice. So I can see the run is going down. Still don't know exactly what that means. Yeah, alrighty. So let's kind of swirl this around without spilling and see what I have here. Let me need that white paper so I don't drop it. Alrighty. So it smells sweet. But it smells kind of like a Coca-Cola, like, like a Pepsi or something. It smells like cranberry. It's like tart back here. But sweet like raspberries. Maybe some vanilla. Maybe red cherries and something maybe oaky. Maybe it was aged in a barrel. Alrighty. So anyway, going in, going to have a sip. Cheers, everyone. I hope that this is like Friday night, the first week in January. Even though it was a short week, a lot of hours packed in. Cheers, everyone. We made it through the first week of 2022. That's a good sign, right? Cheers. So even though it's dry and you can just kind of um, fill your mouth dry out as soon as you put it in from the tannins. And again, the tannins I used to be terrified of. I didn't like that dry feeling in my mouth, but now that I know what it is, it doesn't bother me at all. So it's, you know, just the, uh, the grape uh, skins and the uh, grape vines and the, maybe the wood from uh, tanning from aging in the, the barrel. So you just kind of get that in there and it's, so yeah, it's not scary at all. And then once you start to swallow it and as it moves around in your mouth, you just pick up all the uh, fruit flavors. Um, something kind of earthy in there too. I'm not sure if that's just the, the oakiness that I'm tasting or if there's something else, but something earthy is in here. So you get kind of that scent, not a mushroom, but something like that. And um, just the raspberries and the cherries and it's just the cranberries. You have that tartness, but you have the sweetness. And and again, I get something like a, a, a cola or a Pepsi or something like that. <coughs> Going to have another sip just to kind of confirm what I'm thinking I'm tasting. Yeah, 
yeah so yeah so this is really good it's a nice sipping wine I mean I can see this having it with um, even a nice juicy hamburger so I've been having veggie burgers for a while so a nice beefy cheeseburger would be good or I can see having it with some tacos or even like a nice um, prime rib or a filet mignon or a steak or cheese and crackers yeah I'm not too picky when you know it's too cold to do anything else I mean you know I could have grabbed a pizza but yeah I don't know so yeah I want to thank you guys again for stopping in spending a few minutes of your day with me it means more to me than I can let you know you know I still got that wine from the summer that I got from Italy the Saracini wines and I got that uh, like the limoncello sparkling one and I think there was a Merlot mixed with strawberry and some other flavors so if you've got any suggestions on what you want me to try next just let me know and we'll do that for our next wine diary and yeah just thank you guys so much for stopping in spending a few minutes of your day with me you guys mean the world to me i am so lucky i'm so blessed to have you in my life um yeah so i hope you give this video a thumbs up comments of course are always welcome i wish you were here to share this with me and i would have more cheese and crackers or i would have gone out in the cold to, to get something special for us i would so anyway i love you guys take care and we'll see you in my next video Bye bye